There we go. All right. <laughs> Hello. Um, for anyone who hasn't ever played the political machine, this is probably the third or fourth time that they've published something. Well, I ended up buying the 2008 and 2012 versions when they come out. And about every four years, they'll come out with a new version of this game. And uh, this is the newest version, Political Machine 2006. It is technically early access right now. I think it says it's coming out on February 4th. Uh, <clears throat> I decided today is probably as good a day as ever to do this because by the time I upload this, um, well, first of all, it's like, what, 2.30 in the morning, February 1st. So, by the time I actually upload and um, publish this, it'll probably be after work tomorrow. Um, so, by that point, the Iowa caucuses will be over. But I figured, since I live in Iowa, the caucuses are, well, you know, when you see this, it's today, later on tonight. Might as well actually play the political machine, because I don't mind playing it. I'm not as good at this one than I was um, in earlier versions, but um, yeah, I, I got no qualms about um, playing this a bit more. One second here as I... <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Let me just redo the uh, audio settings just a bit, because I think it might be just a little... Alright, campaign slow and soak my caucus, God damn it! Alright, <clears throat> assuming the um, audio levels are pretty okay. So for right now, I just do the basic... Uh, 40, uh, you know, some people do like 21 weeks. I do the basic 41 weeks. Mm. Starting funds, 100%. Um, easy difficulty right now. I mean, it goes... <laughs> it goes up quite a bit. I still have to kind of, um... You know, get a, get a feel of this. I'm playing on easy, and I still end up, like, losing once in a while. But then you go up to, like... You know, simple, beginner, normal, challenging, tough, painful, crippling, masochistic. It is not good. So, I don't randomize any values just because, you know, I'd rather... Because I, I know which one, which states I need to go after for that. We're going to have the most musty campaign of all time. We're going to get people talking Smash Mouth Shotgun Shock Value TV. So... This is the character I made. <laughs> Gave him a nice toothy grin and a big cowboy hat, because why not? <laughs> so this is my this is our this is the future president of the United States right here. <laughs> um I have his characteristics set in a way that I um I kind of I kind of uh like it that way. Um, stamina's pretty high. Money's kind of low. Uh, fundraising ability's pretty good. Charisma is top notch because that's my that's my bread and butter is going from state to state and giving speeches. Um, appearance, I think that helps in, with interviews, credibility with the ads, experience, uh, political capital costs and endorsements. Uh, that makes it quite difficult, but. I usually try to get um, as much clout as quickly as possible. Intelligence, media bias, minority appeal, religious. So yeah, uh, that's that's basically what I got. I my bread and butter is being able to go around and give a bunch of speeches. So stamina and charisma were the two big things there, and then even some fundraising ability because I'm gonna need some money uh, quickly while I'm trying to. Uh, get it together here. Now, I haven't played just about everybody on this just yet. Um, I will say the only two people so far I've actually played against are Trump and Carson. And I don't know what it is about Trump. I don't know what he does. I think he uses all of his money to do um, like ads and stuff. And that's probably 
uh, how he ends up beating me, but hey. Um, but yeah, I haven't quite beaten Trump yet. Uh, I beat Carson, but maybe I should try somebody else. I'm thinking either, um, let's see, Bush, Rubio, Mike Huckabee, Rand Paul. Probably Ted Cruz. I think Ted Cruz is probably a... Um, probably someone I could probably beat. Boy, he looks just as odd. <laughs> the, that's Ted Cruz's actual face. <laughs> <clears throat> so that'll be that'll be who I who I face for this one. Uh, as you see, 41 weeks. Given the support during the political season, advertisements of air, campaign speeches given, funds raised in each candidate traver traverses the United States of America. They have a long road ahead of them. Uh, so that is how I do that. And let me see. Usually, I upgrade my building. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade there. I'm going to come over here. Because I usually don't. I usually fully upgrade it. I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Is I'm going to try to build up my headquarters as quickly as possible. Um, okay, I should probably see where I stand in the polls. Now, as you can tell right now, he's beating me. Of course, that's to be uh, assumed. Um, so I'm going to have to obviously take a lot of these electoral votes. A lot of it just stems around the fact that he's... Is he from Florida? I don't actually know. Or Texas. It's got to be Texas. Yeah, Cruz Election Headquarters. Yeah, it's, it's well, the fact that it's upgraded there, probably he's from Texas. I didn't really check. So I'm going to have to beat him out in, okay, refugees secure the borders, fighting ISIS. I don't know why fighting ISIS is a thing that I, like, am terrible at, but, I mean, I put some of my own real-life beliefs in here. So I'm obviously ahead in the gay marriage, abortion rights, addressing climate change, higher minimum wage, reducing unemployment. Uh, so those will be the things I'm going to have to um, shape the campaign around to try to beat him. <laughs> Just promise legalize weed, give home and control their bodies, dude. Absolutely, dude. Like, uh, yeah, abortion. I'm actually really surprised that between gay marriage and abortion rights, it's so close. It's nowhere close on climate change or higher minimum wage. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be doing my bread and butter. Let's see, climate change, legalizing marijuana. So we're gonna want, um, we're gonna want supporting gay marriage up there. And I'm gonna raise some funds while I'm at it, so that I can upgrade the clout there. All right, one more. Let's see, where did abortion rights go? There we go. Uh, um, let's push abortion rights up there for right now. And then we'll move to Florida because it's too red of a state right now. So I'm kind of working from behind. So let's change that. Um, I do not have enough money to build a headquarters right this second. Uh, but I can get myself an endorsement already. Um, should I or should I? Usually what I like to do is I like to wait until I can build up enough clout to uh, start stealing some of the endorsements. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to come to New York, because that's a lot more money that I can get. Um, I'll see what I could do as far as keeping people wanting that. All right. One more time. Because we're going to build another outreach center. We're going to... There's abortion rights. We'll bring up abortion rights. Raise more funds. All right. So five weeks in. Curse of one candy. Let's buy the new one, but I'm going to stick around because this is interesting. Is NL on right now? or I had never gotten any. Usually I get something on my... Unless, unless it's the videos that you hadn't quite seen. Alright, so I'm at 26 already, so that's good. Um, 
So we'll take from them. What should we take from them? Uh, plus 10 to reducing unemployment. Yeah, let's take the U.S. Chamber of Business. <clears throat> it just started. Okay. Jesus, I didn't even realize that. Um, let's do abortion rights again. As well as raising more funds. This is... Uh, we're at 19. And 20 is what they need to upgrade that. So, let's see here. I'm going to put abortion rights back up there. Um, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, there's, there's my phone going off. Oh, we got the National Foreign Policy Committee. Jesus Christ, I get you. That's right. Um, oh, God. Yeah, he's going to take Texas. But let's see here. Yeah, we're going to need to get some... I'm going to do what I can to start raising funds. Because I want that HQ built up as much as possible. Alright, so that was just total... There we go. Alright, now we can start taking some stuff from them. Tea Party Movement. Oh, gun rights... Yeah, Mr. Religion is... I'm going to take the Christian Confederation from him. Look at that. Nice. And I still got enough to take one of my own if I want, which I'm going to wait. Um, I've pretty much got New York in hand. Let me move on to Ohio. And I don't quite have enough money yet to build... There we go. Let's do another outreach center. Build some more clout. Take some more shit from them. I'm not happy until I'm taking away all of this stuff. Tea Party movement. Yes, that's right. The Tea Party movement is <laughs> favoring a Democrat. Something that absolutely will not happen. Uh, let's do gay marriage. All right. Cruz supports Black Lives Matter? Huh. Okay, then I got the endorsement. Higher minimum wage and supporting gay marriage. Wait. It seems really weird that the Black Lives Matter... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't make... It does make sense that it's... Alright. Cruz eating Wilson's dust. Alright. So... Bolting like a hungry cougar at his starting gates. I've taken an early lead in the polls. Leaving opponent Ted Cruz several steps behind. Experts are quick to urge Wilson to not get cocky. Don't dismiss Cruz yet. While both candidates are just getting started, it's too early to predict a winner. See, that always happens where I always get started um, very, very quickly. And then I tend to fizzle out a little too much. Oh, perfect. Take the last bit away from him. All right, now the only endorsements that he can grab is uh, the ones that he'd have to take from my cold, dead hands. One more time. There you go. Just to upgrade that HQ. Um, let's see here. We want to do addressing climate change. And we're going to do... We're going to do ground game add. <clears throat> Florida's not a lost cause yet. Florida will be fought for later. So... Um, let's go to Pennsylvania. Not enough stamina. All right. So we're going to move to Pennsylvania and start this up. Take some endorsements while we're at it. National Association of Women. That helped. I need to get the um, Civil Liberties Union. That's going to be the big one. Um, all right. Let's do address climate change. Higher minimum wage. Push those up. That's the thing that I want to make sure... Alright, so now that's number one. Now I need higher minimum wage in that top three. Good. Let's take another. Uh, union action. Yeah, that one's going to be a big one for me. There we go. 
Um, you know what? I'm not too worried about Vermont. I believe uh, Bernie Sanders is from Vermont. I can just pop Bernie Sanders in there. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Supporting gay marriage. All right. Now that's up there. Black Lives Matter. All right. So the way it's looking right now is it looks like I'm leading, but anything can happen. Huh, let's see here. Oh, how gets a person losing? Okay, so we're, we don't got a ton of stuff here. Okay, what would help me out more? Environmental club. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that blue. See? That's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Life-altering issues, you're just leveling it up like attributes. <laughs> uh, let's go to Michigan. I haven't gone to Michigan yet, and that's one that I tend to lose. So let's do addressing climate change. Dude, if there's any place I can win people over on climate change, it's probably got to be <laughs> Michigan. Uh, uh, fix, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's the one. If there's a place I can win people over on fixing infrastructure, it's Michigan. And student loan reform is another big one that I usually win on. Oh god, that is so red. Okay. Um, union action and the National Civil Liberties Union will be next turn, right? No? I should have it. It's alright. Let's do some fundraising. We can build a campaign headquarters and give a speech. Let's see here. Let's do gay marriage. All right, we need to we need to turn this away here. Choose our running mates. Oh, he got the ah oh, damn! I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> Student loans in Florida would have gotten you gold. Dude, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. Um, oh god, who should I pick? It should probably be Bernie Sanders. Bill Clinton wouldn't be terrible either. But let's do Bernie. That that changed some things. Okay. Um, let's upgrade this while we're at it. And where's the student loan reform? There we go. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're absolutely gonna get some people on student loan reform. I can feel it. He's got a new headquarter and advertisement. All right. So the way the assets are working, all of the outreach centers are pretty much needless at this point. That's what I really generally like to do, is make sure I get as much of the endorsements as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them in on student loan reform. That's, that's going to be a big one. Uh, let's upgrade this. Give us some extra money. Uh, all right, student loan reform is at the top. Gay marriage is going to be another big one. I'm not letting them win right now. I've pretty much got the Northeast, so... Gay marriage... Uh, okay, which one was the one that, ones I've been running away on? Unemployment and climate change and higher minimum... Okay, higher minimum wage. That's definitely one. Now, it says it's not big right now, which I understand. But we'll we'll turn this around. I I can feel it. Um no, he's got Marco Rubio there. Hollywood friend. Um Operatives. I haven't gotten an operative yet, so and I haven't put down any centers to get myself more operatives. But at this point I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to do that. We'll see. 
All right, so I, do I have my speechwriter in here with me? I believe my speechwriter is here with me, so... When we do the... Yeah, that helps. All right, so what should be next? 13 votes, let's take this over here. Uh, political opportunity in Louisiana. Let's see. Supporting gay marriage. Resell. Okay, we're going to need... Let's build an HQ so I know what the hell you want. Okay, there we go. There's some stuff we can use. Higher minimum wage. I think I'm good to go there. Let me see. Oh, the speechwriter automatically. Okay. The fashion consultant. PR consultant. Alright, so the ones that I already don't need to worry too much about here. Uh, higher minimum wage for sure. Those are the ones I'm kicking some ass on, so let's make sure to take this away from him. Uh, let's take Tennessee. Tennessee should help out. Uh, oh good, I shouldn't need any, I shouldn't need to build anything here because I can automatically move this stuff up here. <laughs> Are abortion rights that big of an issue in Tennessee? I mean, there's some cousin jokes in there, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Reducing unemployment, get that out of here. There we go. Get that fighting ISIS out of here. I mean, sure, that's a thing we need to do, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, where's the Intimidator? I just put the Intimidator somewhere. Let's put him down here in Florida. I think he might have Florida and Ohio, so I'm going to have to work on probably some other places. Uh, I tend to lose this entire area over here, so I'm going to have to work on it a little bit. Um, shouldn't be too bad, though. Because if I'm going to lose potentially Ohio and uh, Florida, <clears throat> then I should at least work on the other places over here. So let's see if I can't do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to build something here so I can get those 10. And that'll help. Cool. Supporting gay marriage. Um... Addressing climate change, I think that was one I was kicking some ass on, so. Gay marriage is up there. Addressing climate change needs to get up there. Okay. So, we'll move you to Minnesota. Minnesota's another pretty big one. And we'll go down to Missouri on my way back. Look at all that change in color of Florida at the mere mention of student loan reform. <laughs> uh, let's see where it's at. All right, strong lead still. Okay. Continue to reign supreme in the polls for the first three quarters of the election cycle. The real thrill to see these kind of numbers come in. All right. So, yeah, let's... Oh, I already win in farm subsidies. Um, addressing climate change needs to be one. Let's build something here. Only 60,000, come on. Dude, that place is expensive as hell. I know that there's... <laughs> I know that there that people got money there. There we go. Um, all right, let's see what we can do with Wisconsin. Um, state unions, we pretty much already win there, so we'll do climate change, gay marriage, get those up at the top for that, and just add one little bit there, and we'll come down to Missouri, doubles all awareness, gains in target state, um, what's a good place to use this on? We'll send you to Colorado. Yeah, there are a lot of 
Ooh, Arizona's a, probably a big one. <clears throat> All right, so I need to get Missouri. Let's see. Um, hmm, let's build another HQ so I can get an idea of the top ten. Uh, okay, gay marriage is going to be up there. Um, do I win in Black Lives Matter? Well, does that? That's not even a big deal right now. Okay, but gay marriage is. Well, I've built it that way now. So let's do abortion rights and climate change. Let's see if we can't get that up there as well. So climate change. And we will do... Yeah, let's keep doing it that way. All right, so we're week 36. Um, Kentucky... Arizona. Arizona's got 11. Let's see if we can't get Arizona. By the way, go down to Arkansas. Actually, we'll send you over to Ohio. I think Michigan I might have a good shot at. But let's see if I can't steal Arizona over here. Um, build headquarters. Alright, so we got climate change. Let's do legalizing marijuana. There is abortion rights. Let's get that up there. And the TV saying I favor climate. Nope, I don't have it. Okay, let's just do ground game then. All right. Um. Let's head over to Washington. See if we can get something done over here. Marijuana, environment, climate change. Why is securing the borders a huge deal for Washington? <laughs> I do want to know that. <laughs> 65,000, you assholes. Come on. All right. We need to... Let's get gay marriage up there. There we go. Alright. Um, so, two weeks. What can I try? Let's try to get Michigan. That's 16. Let's see what we can, what we can do for Michigan. Okay. We're looking at climate change, fixing infrastructure. Okay. So... Climate change. Look at that. We got more money out of Michigan than we did in Minnesota. That shouldn't be possible. Alright, so it's getting really close now. So, let me see here. Um, where did I put Bernie? Bernie's in Ohio. And we're in the last week. We're going to put him over here in Arizona. And hmm, Michigan's going to be tight. I think I might have it, though. So let's move him over here and see what we can do here. Let's do gay marriage, higher minimum wage. Oh, boy, this is going to get... Says I'm gonna win, but we'll see. There's a lot of swing states going on. We got at least one, two, three, four, five, and two, at least three. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Okay, 10, 16, 18, 29, and 11. So there's like five swing states right here. And potentially Maine. You know what? Just, just to see if I can't get it just from my sheer existence being there. Let me just sit in Maine. Nope. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Come on. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Ah. Uh, hopefully I got Arizona. Come on. Give me Arizona. Give me Arizona. Good. Okay. That might have been it. That might have been enough. 
There it is. Whew. Awesome. <laughs> Woof. It's like if I win Arizona, I should be fine. But yeah, okay, so the exit polls got me 293, 295 to 243. I got a little 5 million over the popular vote. I spent a little bit more than he did, and a whole lot of PR clout. <laughs> a whole lot of PR clout. Usually, there's like those interviews and such as well, as you see, like the cameras and such. Sometimes I, I kind of do them, sometimes I don't. Oh. Yeah, he pretty much had Florida from the get-go. And Ohio. Actually, I thought I had, had Ohio, but... Yeah, he pretty much had Florida from the get-go. And I wasn't too thrilled about that, but... Eh. Oh, that was so close. Ohio was so close. Yeah, oh my god. Look at that. 22 to 77. Probably doesn't get... Any any further away than that? That was very close there. Damn, I thought I had a. Sh I, it was very close in May. <laughs> Just to show up there, you'll consider allowance of their independence and watch it turn blue. <laughs> uh, but hey, that uh, it worked out pretty well. Being able to get the, the... That's the thing I needed, was I needed a lot of the... Um, uh, that's what I usually try to thrive on, is the endorsements, because I don't spend a lot of money on... As you can tell, he did a lot of ads uh, everywhere. I did some ads, but not a lot. Uh, you know, there's like one, two... Um, there's like three... Um, four... Like, there's no more than half... Like, five... Yeah, there's no more than half a dozen out there for me. And he's got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's an outreach center. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, <laughs> twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine different ads. <laughs> Holy shit. That's why I do my charisma maxed out, so I don't have to spend too much money on ads. I mean, obviously it works, but... Yeah. I still manage it, so I'm pretty happy about that. The long ones are usually pretty good, too. Because that's usually when I can use my charisma to a lot of uh, degree there. But hey, I end up getting the win. Pretty happy about that. Cool, cool.